click the subscribe button below this video and make sure to watch The Book of Boba Fett starting December 29th on Disney+. Plus. The last we saw of um, Fennec and Boba at the end of The Mandalorian Season 2, we see them kind of positioning for what is going to come in the book. Pardon me? They're watching after the credits? Yes. Okay. Yes, that, that moment. So I want to know, like, in The Book of Boba Fett, is there a relationship? Is it equal or is she working with him or for him or... What's their relationship like as they go on this journey together? Well, that's right. We go on a journey together. Very good question there. And it's like a Remington and Steel. I don't know if you remember that program. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It's a bit of that. And then it's also sometimes a little bit, uh, well, sometimes in a drama, you need someone to talk to. And it was nice talking to my Bantha, but it was really nice talking to... Uh, my uh, assassin friend as well. So, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we come, um, we go on a journey in itself, I think. And uh, we're trying to, uh, it's an interesting one where we're trying to f figure out. I think it was because of the fact that we'd both been almost buried in the sand. We could relate to the, to the bear, bear being buried in the sand. So I needed a confidant. Yeah. And uh, it, it worked out well. Following that up, is the, is, I, I get a sense that there's a strong loyalty between the two characters. Is that solid throughout the series or does that get challenged because of the things that they face? Well, too much challenge. It gets challenged here and there. And we start to question a number of things. So, yeah, so we work things out. Like all relationships go through uh, some colorful moments, I guess. In the, in the Mandalorian, of course, Baby Yoda took off and the world went crazy for him. Are there creatures and characters like that in Boba Fett that people will fall in love with? Oh, yes. You're I bring in quite a few, I think. But some diverse characters. And uh, yes, our, our audience was just going to get some wonderful surprises. Um, and uh, hopefully they don't steal the show from me, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like Star Wars, Mandalorian, all everything kind of surprises you when you get a very heartfelt moment and you might feel a little tear coming as a viewer that you're not expecting. Are there some heartfelt moments in the book of Boba Fett? He's hardened and raw, this character. But he's changing and he's seen so much. And I can feel a tear come on just thinking about some of the scenes we performed. So again, it's a changing time for Boba. He changes a lot. He's had a tough upbringing in terms of uh, uh, losing his dad at a young age and having to find his way and uh, find out who he is, where he's from, all by himself really. So he's had a few chips on his shoulders, but I think there are some real uh, moments. And the trick is just to uh, let the audience cry. Let the audience feel something. I think that's the trick. Yeah. Uh, have some tissues handy. I will. Popcorn, some tissues. <laughs> I'm going to cry every now and then. Just the joy of the fact that he's back. That could bring on a tear let alone the drama within the drama. So have them handy, maybe a beer or two so you don't have to go to the fridge every time and miss something. Yeah. Yep. I'm looking, okay. I'm looking forward to it, Jim. I am too. Thanks so much for chatting with me, man. Click subscribe under this video and watch The Book of Boba Fett every Wednesday on Disney+. Plus.